Well, vote them all out. That is the mission that People for Portsmouth has. It's a political action committee that wants to find candidates to replace current city council members. Last night, it took full advantage of the council's community input meeting. Investigative reporter Chris Horn has more on uh, why these people are so upset. Yeah, Stephanie and Anita, they have a long list of grievances, but there seems to be a common thread that runs through them. If you're going to do the public's business, the public should be a bigger part of that process. Well, a loss of faith in their leaders, the controversy over the Confederate monument, the purchase of the sports complex property. These are just a few of the gripes that were brought up, and even the council members themselves disagree about the need for more transparency. Mr. Mayor, you have repeatedly and deliberately moved your government out of the sunshine and into the darkness. About 200 people overall filed into Norcom High's auditorium, many of them members of People for Portsmouth. The head of the political action committee took council to task on the purchase of the sports complex property, saying the nearly $4 million could have been used elsewhere for city services. Others said council needs to be more transparent and is relying too much on closed sessions. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time I checked, the people voted every one of you into office, and we can vote you out of office if we are not pleased with your performance. When we go into closed meetings, it isn't about having a secret meeting, but it's to get clarification, get our minds together. But Councilman Bill Moody says some closed sessions were not needed. I do not feel that people that you elect to office do not have to go behind closed doors to clear their head. I'm concerned about the secrecy. I'm concerned about the divisiveness. I'm concerned about the loss of trust that so many people in this room have. Nine high-ranking city officials have left since April. So one woman says she's concerned about Portsmouth becoming a punchline. I am angry that my city has become the laughing stock of the Tidewater area. And we called Mayor Kenny Wright for comment. He has not returned our call thus far. The next regular session for Portsmouth City Council is a week from tonight. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.